guys, my name is Chinonsu Arubai. This is Business Day Marketplace. So how do I cope with competition? Basically, I believe that there's always going to be competition, but I am my first competition. The truth is, in Nigeria, the market is incredible. Like, it's so big. I don't even know if I alone can cater to the needs of all the women we have in Nigeria. So that's how I... I, I think of it in my mind that the sky is actually big enough for all of us to shine. Look at me as a Nigerian brand and in five years we hope to be all over Nigeria, all over Africa and we hope to be global. So basically all around the world um, society has its definition of beauty and how women should look at certain points in their lives. Um, we're here to challenge the narrative. We want people to look at themselves and be themselves, to look like themselves, not necessarily like a stereotype of how society has defined you to look. So um, growing up, I, had, I always had full lips, and I felt like, you know, I wish I could reduce them, but I couldn't. So I grew, I've evolved. And I became more confident in how I've been beautifully and wonderfully made and I've embraced my lips and you'd, see, you'd always catch me slapping on lip gloss and red um, lips which is very bright and very bold for someone who used to be so not confident about her lips and I got to fall in love with makeup, fall in love with myself and you'd always see me wearing makeup. So this brand is something that definitely I believe has always been inside of me and I'm just giving expression to that light and we hope to do the same for women because we believe that inside every woman is light and we want people to see that light so it's look at me, I mean look at me now. <laughs> art is life, um, art is me because I'm a very artistic person and growing up I used to make cards, I used to draw, like you leave me uh, in, the, in the classroom, you'd catch me sketching out trees and cars and things that were just outside my classroom and I've always loved art. So being a TV personality and being someone who's so in love with the media, it only comes natural to me to be creative and artistic, but there was a need for me to express that other artist in me, aside, you know, just talking in front of TV, I still wanted to paint, to draw, and makeup is one of the ways that I get to do that every day on my face, and I do that on my friends as well. So yeah, art is life, and look art me. I try my best because I know that there's a lot of competition. There are bigger brands, there are greater brands, there are, you know, brands that are currently doing very well, that are leading people I look up to personally and so I don't think of them as competition. I am inspired by them. They let me know that it's actually possible and I try to be very creative with my packaging. First off, I'd say that I haven't seen any package currently being done like we've done our collections. As with all startup businesses in Nigeria, there's the power issue, there's you know, um, custom issues because the truth is we personally, I hope that we'll be able to drive a market and be able to create our own factories in Nigeria. Personally, I wish that that's what we can do. But right now we're faced with the challenge of producing our products in Nigeria and so we have to import some parts and assemble some parts here in Nigeria, which is what we do. And my first experience, I already got, got a call from Custom and they're like, yo, you have to pay up some money because <laughs> you know how it goes. So yes, there are a lot of challenges in Nigeria. There's also the very important challenge of getting loans and you know getting financial support. And so yeah, as with all businesses, there are a lot of challenges, but we can do all things as long as we believe and we keep trying and we're consistent, it's possible.